Hey, are you tired of running out of disk space and looking for a secure, easy to use cloud storage platform? Well, <laughs> I am too. So if you find one, please just let me know. <laughs> just kidding. I've got all the 411 you're gonna need to help you choose the best cloud storage for personal use. So if you stick and stay with me for the next 10 minutes, I promise you, I will make it worth your time. Hey, I'm Jason. And I'm Vertex. It isn't your turn to introduce yourself yet. So just, just chill. In today's video, I'll be ranking five of the hottest platforms according to the following categories. Finest features, best security, and the most affordable prices. So be sure to watch to the very end. In the meantime, you can go and get some jaw-dropping discounts on some of the products in this video if you sign up using the links in the description box below. Note that these offers are only exclusive to you, CyberLab viewers. Can we get to the video already? Oh, today's gonna be a long one. So let's set the ball rolling with pricing. Most affordable. Now, which of these platforms has the most affordable price? Well, the first up is Sync. Sync delivers incredible cloud storage features at great prices. You get a free five gig storage capacity when you sign up, which isn't bad if you're just storing small sized files. However, bigger files require, yes, bigger storage capacity. So you're gonna need to upgrade to the paid plans. Now the basic plans $8 per month, but build $96 annually. It features two terabytes of storage space and comes with advanced sharing options such as restrictions on downloads and link expiry. If that doesn't suit you, you can opt for their professional plan, which costs $24 a month or $240 a year, and you can enjoy six terabytes of storage space. It showcases all the features in the basic plan, plus you get to customize your account with your own brand, which is great for professionals. Affordable prices, if you ask me, but what about pCloud? Well, pCloud's pricing structure is slightly different from Sync. You see, on pCloud, you only get an increase in storage capacities and shared link traffic when you upgrade to its premium plans. Aside from that, you can access most of its features on both the free and paid plans. The free plan comes with a storage capacity of three gigs, which you can increase to 10 gigs by asking others to sign up with your unique link. Now, its paid plans come in two options, premium and premium plus. The premium goes for $49.99 and features 500 gigs of storage capacity alongside 500 gigs of shared link traffic. While, <coughs> while the premium plus, <coughs> what is it, Bert? <sighs> shared link traffic is simply the traffic generated when you send or receive a link. So each month you can share up to 500 gigs of traffic under the premium plan. If you exceed it, then you have to wait for the next month or upgrade your subscription. Do you get it now? Sure thinks. <sighs> Meanwhile, the premium plus plan comes with two terabytes of storage space and two terabytes of shared link traffic and costs $99 per year. Remember, you get to enjoy almost the same features, which we'll come to later in the video. But for now, let's join the Google Drive price train. Toot, toot, all aboard! Now, Google Drive's free plan has 15 gigs of storage capacity, which is the biggest on this list. However, the available storage capacities on its paid plans are not too impressive. The basic plan costs $19.99 and has 100 gigs of storage capacity. The standard plan goes for $29.99 a year and comes with 200 gigs of storage. Now, as a plus, you get to add up to five members of your family. The last plan, premium, costs $99.99 and comes with two terabytes of storage space and allows up to six family members. But I wouldn't spend much money on the paid plans if my files were in small sizes because there's very little difference between the paid plans. So as you can see, all of them have similar features. The major difference is bigger storage capacities and getting a percentage of your money back in the Google Store. So, if you don't need a bigger space, just roll with the basic and you're gonna be fine. This brings me to my next platform, Dropbox. Unlike Google Drive and pCloud, Dropbox offers more features based on the plan you subscribe to. Thus, the more you pay, the more features you enjoy. Its free plan showcases two gigs of storage space with restricted sharing, limited collaboration, and few security features. Uh, plus, it allows you to use it on up to three devices. But with the paid plan, you get two terabytes of storage capacity with access to files across an unlimited number of devices 
and the option to remotely wipe your files when your PC is lost or stolen. Plus, you can even edit your files offline and recover corrupted data, all for $99.99 a year. Are you impressed already? <laughs> Wait till you hear about the price of the last one, OneDrive. Now, just like Dropbox, OneDrive offers more features on its paid plans. If you sign up, you enjoy 5 gigs of storage capacity and a free email on its free plan. Uh, to get the full Microsoft Office 365 suite, you have to sign up for the personal plan, which costs $7.99 a month. It comes with 2 terabytes of storage space and advanced sharing features. So which platform takes the most affordable crown? Well, I'll go with Google Drive because it features the biggest storage capacity on a free plan and its paid plans are affordable. But most importantly, you get similar features no matter the plan that you subscribe to. Plus, it has some of the best features on the market, which we'll discuss later in this video. So if you've made it this far, that means that you are enjoying the review. Thank you so much. So please leave a like and a comment. We really appreciate it. Now, let's compare the security features of the cloud storage platforms to determine which one provides maximum security. All the platforms employ similar security measures to keep your files and your data safe. They use the Transport Security Layer Encryption Protocol to protect the files when they're in transit to the cloud. Once they're there, the platforms secure them with the AES 256-bit encryption. Each platform allows you to secure your account with two-factor authentication, and you can restore lost files with their respective file recovery features. However, here's where they differ. While platforms like SyncCloud and pCloud provide client-side encryption, Google Drive, Dropbox, and OneDrive don't. Oh, you do, do you? Uh, all right, let's hear it then. Okay. If encryption means protecting data by converting intelligible words into codes and client represents the user's device, then client-side encryption should mean encoding user data on the client side before it leaves the device to the server. Hmm. Excellent, Vertex. Good job. In addition, the user is the only one with the keys to decrypt the files. Thus, no one, not even the company, can see what is stored in your files on the cloud, giving you maximum protection. So, let's get back to the video. pCloud provides client-side encryption through CryptoPass, which is only available as a paid feature. SyncCloud provides client-side encryption for both its free and paid plans. Though OneDrive, Google Drive, and Dropbox don't provide client-side encryption, you can use third-party apps, such as Cryptomator, to encrypt your files. So, the most secure personal cloud storage award goes to... Ding, ding, ding! pCloud. Wait a minute. I was thinking the award would go to SyncCloud for providing client-side encryption on both the free and paid plans. Ah, Vertex, that is true. But I crown pCloud because client-side encryption has its pitfalls, which pCloud has expertly circumvented. You see, client-side encryption can slow down the speed of data transfer due to the processing power it consumes. Plus, it prevents you from previewing files, which can be a bit annoying. However, pCloud avoids this by allowing you to choose the files you want to encrypt and leave the rest unencrypted. And this allows you to have both encrypted and unencrypted files in the same account. And this way, the data transfer speed isn't affected. Plus, you don't have to preview encrypted files because you already remember what's there. Hmm, makes sense. <laughs> Thank you, Vert. So can we proceed? Sure. Now that we've crowned the most secure platform, let's see who wins the best features category. Interestingly, all five platforms in this video have certain features in common, like file sharing, which allows you to set a password to a file before sharing it. And this way, even if the document lands in the wrong hands, they're not going to be able to access the contents preserving its confidentiality. Then there are the automatic file backup and syncing features, which store your files on the cloud. Now, talking about storage, pCloud, OneDrive, and Dropbox have their unique ways of storing files using block-level syncing. Block-level syncing? Um, how do I explain this? Okay, let's say you have a huge file stored on the cloud that you just edited. With traditional syncing, the entire file would be re-uploaded after editing, which is time-consuming and bandwidth-consuming, even if you've made changes to just a few sentences. However, with block-level syncing, only the part you edited would be re-uploaded, saving time and bandwidth. Hmm, interesting. 
Yeah, but unfortunately, Google Drive doesn't support block level sync, and well, neither does SyncCloud. But this is not going to matter if you're dealing with smaller files or are on a faster internet connection. The five platforms also have file versioning features that allow you to view older versions of files and then revert to them if you need to. A great way to save time and energy. Another feature they have in common is granular permissions, which allow you to set who can view only, comment, or make edits to a file. All the platforms have desktop and mobile apps for easy accessibility and they support most operating systems, including Windows, Android, iOS, and Mac OS. However, Linux, hmm, a very special case. Google Drive, OneDrive, and SyncCloud don't support Linux, except through third parties, such as InSync and rclone. pCloud and Dropbox support Linux, though, but only if you download their desktop apps. Though all the platforms have collaboration features, Google Drive stands out for me. And here's why. Its video chat feature is second to none, at least compared to the platforms on my list. The feature allows you to chat face to face with a collaborator right on the document that you're both working on. This way you can both see the edits and the suggestions in real time and discuss challenges as well. This feature saves time, allowing you and your team to both be, or all of you, on the same page. So Google Drive is definitely the winner for me in this category. But which of these features caught your attention? Please let us know in the comment section below. Okay, so the best cloud storage for individuals would ultimately depend on personal preferences. Uh, for instance, Google Drive is budget friendly and pCloud is your best option for security. So click on the link in the description for an 85% discount on all pCloud's premium plans. And if you're interested in lifetime cloud storage solutions, then go and check out our next video right there. Best lifetime cloud storage. We'll see you there. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.